Walking through the historical sites where fragile structures are protected with barriers and safeguards and tapes and pillars, suddenly a guard turned up and asked me. You seems to be a nice man. I said, so you are. The nicety of one is that must never be determined by the exterior and what you carry and how much can you earn from someone else. So I said very politely, Thank you for taking care of all of this fragile historical sites and monuments. And he turned out and said, Oh, would you like to take a photo inside of one of these monuments? I said, Why? I don't need to. I can appreciate from here. It's been barricaded. It's been but it's been prohibited for visitors to enter because the archaeological society of the nation has seen to be concern of its health and its structural integrity. So all of this are in place just to remind the visitors to see it and appreciate it and learn the history from observation and being present in the grounds of these monuments that are unique and special and i'm no exempt i'm no exception no the means of what i've got and how much money i have should not determine for me to have exemption or access to to walk in and take photos. No, I can't do that. And I will never do that, regardless of where in the world I am. My feet will never trample on the landscape that is fragile on the earth and the monuments and our history that is unstable and the structures that are so fragile. And he says, oh, you know, the first time I've met somebody who's so nice, so kind, so telling me that I don't want to go. I said, no one should be offered to go in those places because they're seen to be fragile and they need to be protected. And your job is to take care of it and make sure that nobody have access to it. And for this reason, I'm saying thank you very much, but I won't go just for a photo. And this is the nature of human behavior today around the world, no matter where. We pay a fee to go in. When things are closed, people are who are supposed to protect these 
structures and monuments. Somewhat try to sell you artifacts, try to take you inside, cordon off areas because of its fragile nature of the historical artifacts and archaeological monuments. Yet these people are paid a such a small nominal amount as a job to maintain and they find the ways to look for an opportunity to get some pocket money. And this breaks my heart. This saddens me that everything is determined by the means of money, which I simply haven't got any left today. It's a sad prospect, but it's a reality that all of us are driven through these meanless, meaningless, very fragile and very broken ways of living because of the most important has become the money today in human well-being, human health, human consciousness, human responsibility, human welfare, respect, care. Everything has come down to this very nature, which is the money. I hope we move away from this very tangled structure of living and become independent from this subservient, abusive, colliding society that we created with the means of money. Solutions are in the hands of people we look up to and put in a responsible position to take care and for them to lead the way as an example rather than them to go on holidays or find their position to become a more important and the advantage to take advantage of every opportunity there is. We must all learn to be responsible and conscious in our steps and actions we take and be humble enough to realize that we as human beings are equally part of making a just, sensible, responsible, conscious planet.